we didn't learn social skills in school. I'm like, that's okay, man. You can learn now, you know? Outer space is filled with tons of space rocks. And those rocks are made up of rock, metal, ice, methane, unknown chemicals. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Pay attention. Don't pay attention. No question is dumb. That was a dumb question. Don't ask any questions. Hey, dude, it's 114. That's crazy. Asterisk. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. This is a tough problem, so... All right, so let, me, let me get you up to date if I can. First, welcome to another exciting episode of Asteroid Fight Club. Now remember, Asteroid Fight Club is where we fight asteroids. And asteroids are a metaphor for anything that can destroy society. Now, an asteroid is a literal asteroid that can destroy society. And we're covering the story because we have three newly found asteroids... They're all coming within about one lunar distance of the Earth in the next week or so. Now, if that doesn't get your underwear soggy, I don't know what does. As we learned with DA 2013, a lot of times when they're real close, meteors swing by, they have friends who try and sneak in the back door. So that's all we're doing is keeping an eye out for backdoor sneakers. And remember, if you get so lucky slash unlucky as to have a meteor head your way and explode and stuff, don't look straight at it or you will go blind. Now, the stuff they told you about masturbation, that was untrue. Because if it was true, I would have been blind a long time ago. And so would have you. But this, the whole looking at a giant explosion, that, that thing is real. WC-201, 2014 WX-202, and 2014, woo, 200. December 2nd, December 7th, December 10th. 1.4 LD, 1 LD, 1.2 LD. So this is kind of a group of very close asteroids. Now let's take a look at them. Let's go over the boring math. Everybody loves boring math. Am I right? Okay. I'm going to break this video down for you ahead of time using boring math. From December 1st through December 10th, which is a period of 10 days in 2014, we will have 24 potentially hazardous near-Earth asteroids. 75% of those potentially hazardous near-Earth asteroids were found in 2014, which is 18 of 24. And three of them come within 1.4 lunar distances of Earth. I want to remind you that no doom ever comes from this shit, asterisk, yet, asterisk. All right, the boring math always gives my debunkers a chance to go back and say, hey, this happens all the time, like every single week, or it happened in 2011 or whatever, which is really irrelevant because all we're talking about is now. I'm not saying this is a record-setting time for asteroids. I'm just pointing out, hey, we've got three asteroids coming within 1.4 lunar distances or less of the Earth within the next 10 days. That's interesting. We are kicking it funky, groovy style over at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, their NeoJPLNASA.gov site. I'll leave a link. We're looking at their near-Earth object program. And hey, guess what? Key facts to remember, one astronomical unit is the distance between Earth and the Sun, and it's about 150 kilometers. One lunar distance is the distance between the Moon and the Earth. It's about 384,000 kilometers. As you can see, if we go down the chart past the 10th, you don't have a single asteroid coming within one lunar distance between now and February 1st. So three close approach asteroids that were just found a little while ago is kind of special. Now I would probably have debunkers who say it's not special at all, but you know, man. Let's take a look at their orbits. We'll look at 2014 Wu-Tang Cake, Bake It So. Woo! That's pretty close. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. Hello, my good time gal. It's a near miss. All right. But we will take a look at the fact that 2014 Wu-Tang Cake 201, Bake It So, goes out beyond Mars, actually goes along the Venus orbit, and crosses Earth's orbit coming and going. Now, 2014 Wu-Tang Xanadu 202, that one is one of those Earth stalkers. It's a scientific term we like to use here at Thor News, where it kind of stalks Earth. And I think we can all agree that stalking is unhealthy. So that should come as a comfort, ladies. I like it when you're comfortable. As you can see, this Earth stalker, kind of like a girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. What are you doing, Earth? Who are you talking to? Let me see your messages. Why didn't you answer for your phone when you were at the dentist? You know, stuff like that. And then, looking over at Wu-Tang Universe 200, bake it so. We got another Earth stalk in orbit. Basically kind of shares Earth's orbit with a bit of a wobble. What are you doing, Earth? Who are you talking to? 
why are you dressed up, you know? I love you. So they're all both on the same ecliptic, 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 ecliptic. We. You should be able to get some photographs. Well, I guess it's so, so small. Look at Speedy Mercury. All right, so there's some earth stalking mugs. Sounds great, huh? And there's none to panic over. A while back, NASA outsourced asteroid detection, deterrence, and cataloging. Not in that order, I don't think. To us, the people. So, you know, I'm just doing my job, man. I think that's why the debunkers, they get jealous. Because they're like, ah, oh, you don't belong here. You know, this is a very magical, sciencey place. And we don't have room for you people. And I'm like, man, you guys are dicks. Why are you guys going to be such dicks? And they're like, we didn't learn social skills at school. I'm like, that's okay, man. You can learn now. You know, 2014 Wu-Tang cake. Bake it so. It will come within 1.4 lunar distances of Earth. It's anywhere from 16 meters to 37 meters. Isn't that cool? And it's pretty dark. We're going to skip down to... 2014 Wu-Tang Xanadu 202. Shout out to Naked Short Killer. On December 7th, you will be exactly one lunar distance from the Earth. Who knows? Maybe it'll hit the moon. Doesn't that, isn't that what that means? So, amateur astronomers, on that day, set your focus and your cameras. The moon. Maybe you can catch an excellent moon explosion. That one is supposed to be 3.2 meters, 7.1 meters. That one is supposed to be between 3.1 meters and 7.1 meters. Now, I do want to note the coolest thing about this one is it is so freaking slow. Its relative velocity is only 1.67 kilometers per second, which is really, really slow for asteroids. And the slowest on the entire asteroid chart. And if you'll notice, 2014, Wu-Tang Universe 200, bake it so. Coming on December 10th is 1.2 lunar distances from Earth, anywhere from 4.2 to 9.3 meters. And it is 2.17 relative velocity kilometers per second. So this little batch is pretty slow. Interesting, boring, irrelevant, who knows, man. The hell, man, why are you working so sucky? Now on 2014 Wu-Tang cake, bake it so, we found it eight days ago. So that's gotta give you some confidence. It's got a six condition code. 2014 Wu-Tang Xanadu 202. We found that on the 24th. So I guess you get a, what? Total observations, 31. Delayed observations. What's a delayed observation? Doppler observation. Uno. It's got a five condition code, so you can sleep easy on that one. And then Wu-Tang Universe 200. Bake it so. Wu-Tang Uprising 200. Six condition code. They found that on the 22nd. A week. And the interesting thing is these are all kind of in our orbit. So something must have sped them up, slowed them down, knocked all them bitches around. Remember, I have multiple personalities. And that... All of those multiple personalities believe they're superheroes. You've got like, no, no, Thor is the real me. But you've got like Indiana Jones, you got Luke Skywalker, you got Han Solo, you got Howard Rourke, you got Ender Wigan, you got Wolverine, you got Daredevil, you got Spider Man. Anyway, forget which personality it is, but that personality has a feeling that 90% of all the asteroid data is fake. Because if you notice, they do, do do like a hot and cold switch with asteroids. We're like, oh my God, asteroids are a real danger. And then they'll like downshift from asteroids being a danger to like climate change is the real danger. And then our asteroid experts really won't talk about asteroids much. And they won't even imply there's any asteroid danger or doom. Now you can play that both ways. It's like, hey, they're making this crap up. Or, hey, something's coming. You know? I don't know. That's why I don't like to cover asteroids that much anymore because... Asteroids is definitely the squirreliest subject in celestial physics. And it's the hardest one for me to really put a finger on as to WTF is going on, you know? All right. Asteroid, asteroid. Apple, apple. Amy, Amy. Amy, Amy. Whoa, that was creepy. They're weird, I guess. Double A. Holy crap, Earth's coming at me. Whoa, I stopped it like Neo.